You want to know if Julius Malema is a dictator? Well, the man who was at the leadership of the EFF, the former chairperson, Dalian Pofu, just broke his silence. And the truth is out. He's been inside the machine and his perspective matters. So what did Dalian Pofu actually say? The same man who, just months ago, was one of Malema's closest allies, now a member of the MK party, leaving the EFF and publicly calling out what went down behind closed doors. And let's be clear, Dali is no small player. His words carry Wait, first things first, Dali Mpofu didn't hold back. When asked if Malema was a dictator, he straight up said the label was exaggerated. Now, let that sink in. The very man who left the party and who has the inside scoop on what's happening in the EFF doesn't buy the narrative that Malema is some kind of power-hungry tyrant. Instead, he's calling the accusations just what they are, overblown. Why? Because Dali, who's been in the trenches, knows that a true dictator doesn't let people disagree with him. A true dictator doesn't allow for differences of opinion. And guess what? Dali himself disagreed with Malema on numerous occasions over serious matters. Asked about allegations that Malema is a dictator, Mbofu had this to say. Julius Malema, as I said, is one of the most gifted uh, politicians in this country. He, uh, you know, all things being equal, he might one day be the president of this country. And uh, it would be to the benefit of the country. And the issue of uh, dictatorship is just uh, exaggerated because he's such a big personality. But speaking for myself and other EFF leaders, there were so many issues on which we differed. I mean, even now, he, his podcast on Friday, he said that I, I, I said that, you know, this is, uh, we must go this way with MK, and he had a different view. But if, so if he was a dictator, why would I have put a, a position and we had differences and we still carried on? There were many, many points in the in the in the EFF, EFF where the, 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 there was that interaction. Maybe some people uh, don't voice their feelings. That's their problem. But uh, you can't blame him for that. Yeah. But here's the catch. Dali didn't just praise Malema's talent. He went further. He acknowledged that, despite their differences, Malema never shut him down, never silenced him. And that right there is the truth the haters won't tell you. If Malema was the dictator, people make him out to be, Dali wouldn't have been able to challenge him or voice a different perspective. But he did, time and time again. And guess what? Malema didn't crush him. He didn't shut him out. Dali was free to speak his mind. Now let's break this down. For years, we've been fed a narrative by people who don't even understand the dynamics of the EFF. They say, Malema is a dictator. Malema doesn't allow dissent. They act like they know what happens in those boardrooms, in those meetings. But here's the thing. Those who leave the party, those who have been in the thick of it, are the ones who know the real story. And when someone like Dali, who's been at the heart of the EFF, comes out and says Malema isn't the dictator, everyone claims him to be. We need to listen. That's the thing I respect about uh, uh, Dali, uh, because he, he has been open about it, he has been speaking about it, and um, one day, you know, when I write a book, I will have a lot of stories to tell. Yeah. Even on a house, uh, Dali became Zuma's lawyer on, on, <laughs> on some of these matters. So, um, Malema himself, when speaking about Daly's exit, wasn't rattled. He didn't cry dictatorship. He didn't get defensive. No. Instead, he respected Daly's openness. He acknowledged that people leave, but that doesn't erase the history they shared. Malema was calm about the situation. He didn't launch an attack. He didn't slander Dali the way others might expect. Why? Because the truth is, if Malema really was this tyrant, he would have come for Dali, tried to destroy him, smear his name, just like so many political leaders do. But that's not what happened. Malema let Dali walk away and even spoke respectfully about him. Let's think about this for a second. Dali Mampofu has nothing to gain by protecting Malema. He's left the EFF and joined another party. He could have taken his exit as an opportunity to take Malema down, paint him as a dictator in front of the whole country, but he didn't. Instead, he confirmed what we've been saying all along. Malema's leadership is misunderstood. The real issue? His strong personality? That's it. People confuse his boldness with authoritarianism. And here's another critical point. Why would Dali Mpofu, a man with his own career ambitions, hold Hold back if he thought Malema had truly mistreated him. If Malema had forced his hand out of the party or stifled his voice, you can bet Dali would have let us all know. He'd have gone public with accusations. He'd have painted Malema as a villain, a dictator in every sense of the word. But instead, he stood by his decisions. He didn't throw Malema under the bus. He didn't attack the party in the way critics expected. This, my friends, is the proof we've been waiting for. The ones who leave, who have seen it all, are the ones who give us the truth. And Dali Mpofu didn't speak with the venom of a victim.
him. He spoke with the clarity of someone who has lived it. He's told us that there's more to the story than what the haters would like to claim. Now, let's talk about why this matters. These claims of dictatorship are not new. For years, people have pointed to Malama's leadership style and tried to paint him as an authoritarian. But you've got to ask yourself why. Why does this narrative persist? Is it because of his power or is it because of his ideas, the way he challenges the status quo? When Malema speaks, people listen. And when people listen, they often don't like what they hear. What Dali has done is expose the real issue, the discomfort. Many people feel when someone like Malema stands up for change, he's not the kind of leader who plays by the old rules. He doesn't seek to please the establishment. And that, that is what makes people uncomfortable. He pushes boundaries. He challenges deeply ingrained structures. And in that, he creates enemies. But let's be clear. If you really believe Malema is a dictator, then why aren't the people who've left the party calling him out? Why is it only the haters, those who've never been in the room, never had the chance to challenge him, who keep pushing this false narrative? Um, he has been there. I know of the work they've been doing. I know of the work he has been doing and all of that. Uh, so I, I, this has never been a shock to me. It was just about when is it about to happen. It's going to happen anytime, but we just don't know when. So it eventually happened and we're fine. Malema's response to Dolly's exit was measured, calm, and firm. It wasn't a power grab. It wasn't a dictator's reaction. It was a leader's response, understanding that in politics, people come and go. Dolly left, but it didn't break Malema. It didn't destroy the party. And that's the ultimate sign of leadership. Not controlling every move, but building a movement strong enough to withstand defections and challenges. So let me ask you this. Who should we believe? The critics who have never walked in Malema's shoes or the people who were there? People like Dolly and Pofu who have been at the core of the EFF, who have seen it firsthand. Dali's testimony is crystal clear. Malema is not a dictator. He's a strong leader with a vision, and that's what makes him powerful. And for those who continue to spread lies and unfounded accusations about Malema, don't be fooled. The truth has already been spoken. The real story, the one that Dali Mpofu just revealed, is far more complex than the caricature of a dictator. People try to paint. The question isn't whether Malema is a dictator. The question is, can we handle a leader who speaks truth to power? Because because that's exactly what Malema does. And that's exactly why he's so dangerous to the establishment. So this morning, uh, when when I woke up to the news, I was like, it is what it is. Yeah, so he, saw, he, I mean, he has sent me a message. Uh, first, he sent me a message about the birthday of uh, his daughter turning 21st. Mm. So I didn't respond because I could see what Dali was mm. doing. So I knew. If he sends me invitation to a 21st birthday party, it means he has sent to everyone, mm. which means we're all going to be united under the least mm. leadership. Is and then he's going to project himself as this guy who brought <laughs> all of them yeah. under one roof. So I said, no, I'm not responding because I'm not going there. And then he sent me now a text a few days after. That he wants to say he wants to see me urgently because he knows parliament is in recess mm -hmm. and he can come to the office or i go to his house or he comes to my house i didn't respond and because we are so used to this now my wife says to me he wants to say his goodbyes <laughs> <laughs> no 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 I, i'm not Very good well. for, i'm not i'm not good for goodbyes so <laughs> I, to the end of I'm, the I'm, I'm, I'm i'm fine i don't want so let him do uh, what he wants to do so uh, we respect this decision and there's nothing mm -hmm. we can do about it.